teams, and obviously a tough lineup on the other side. It's the fourth time that you had faced them. Why do you think you've been able to, to have success against that Blue Jays lineup? I don't know. I mean, just mix my pitches. Um, you know, got the fastball to good areas. I respect them a lot, so maybe that has something to do with it where I definitely don't want to, like, miss over the plate much. Um, you know, when I face them, I'm sure to get my pitches to the right spots and stuff. But, um, yeah, it was a good day. Bullpen picked me up there in the sixth. Um, anytime you hand it over to Mike King and then you can finish with Clay Holmes, it's a good day. You mentioned Clay Holmes. He passed Mariano Rivera in his scoreless appearance streak. Just you were with him in Pittsburgh. How different a pitcher does he look now? And did you ever see this type of dominance coming? Yeah, um, he's around the, the strike zone a lot more now. Um, he's always had really, really good stuff. I think he's got a better idea of how to use it now. Um, he's one of those guys who's always looking to get better. So like his metrics and stuff, he's just found a way to make his sinker better. Um, he came into the year with a new slider this year. Um, so that just doesn't really surprise me that he's found a way to keep getting better. But, I mean, I don't know if you could even dream of, of a run like this. So it's been cool to watch. Everything, everything you've been through, uh, what would it mean to you if you could pick for the All-Star team? Yeah, that, I mean, that'd be cool. Um, I already booked some All-Star plans. So I don't know if I'm really expecting it or not. But um, it would definitely be a cool honor. Speaking of slider, you went to yours a lot today. What was working? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, they show the metrics here, and I thought I had a pretty good amount of horizontal movement on it. So um, I saw that early, and I was around the zone with it and sequencing it well, so I went to that um, in big spots. But sometimes when I have a good day with the slider, I just feel like I'm, my mechanics are in the right spot where I can, like, aggressively rip it. Um, but, yeah, the horizontal was definitely up from previous starts, so um, I saw that and kind of just trusted it. So you were tracking that on the scoreboard? Yeah, I like to, I like to look, and if I see something that's a little off, I kind of know how to fix some little things on the fly. What is your biggest challenge in facing a team so often this early in the season? Um, well, I guess have, they've definitely seen me a lot, but it's been kind of split up. I did go back to back against them at one point, but they haven't seen me now in over a month. So, um, I mean, no matter how much they see you, like a good fastball down and away always works. A good breaking ball always works to anybody in baseball. So um, it's kind of a cat and mouse game, but at the same time, like the staples and principles of pitching still kind of apply. Get ahead, um, you know, mix, move your fastball around and stuff like that. How good did you guys feel for Hicks considering the struggle? that he's had. Yeah, that, I mean, he came through huge today. That was a huge at-bat. Um, you know, we're all very aware of the run that Manoa's been on. He's been extremely tough to get to. Um, I mean, just to even put ourselves in a situation to come up with it like that, it seems like he doesn't really ever have traffic on the bases. So um, that was a huge hit. And then for Izzy to also chase him with that, that knock, um, it's impressive that we, that we were able to do it. I mean, he's an impressive guy. You guys expected to be good this year, to be 33 over 500, to be 12 up in the division. Is it, are you just amazed at, at how many wins you guys have strung together at this point of the season? Yeah, I mean, I think winning is almost a little contagious to the, to the point, like, it seems like we show up every day, uh, we expect to win, whereas last year, obviously, you want to win every day, um, but when you put together a streak like this, like, it just seems like every day we show up, we expect to find a way to win that night. There's a confidence, like, within the group that we're going to find a way to do it, so um, it can happen in a lot of different ways, pitching, defense, bullpen, uh, power, just scrapping and stuff like that, so I don't know, just finding a way to get it done, I don't know if you could envision being you know, this sort of record to start, but we knew we were a good squad.